Hey, welcome to Politics. My name is Manuela, and today I'm going to show you around the Politics platform. Politics is a PIM, or a product information management platform. Right now, you might be managing your data in different places. Maybe you have some data in your ERP system, some you receive in spreadsheets from your suppliers and manufacturers, and some, like your digital assets, are in a cloud system or even stored locally. Thing is, having information everywhere like this leads to having duplicate data around, which just gets messier and messier and can lead to costly errors. This is where Plytics comes in. Plytics is the perfect tool for when you're fed up with having all of this data everywhere, because Plytics serves as that one central source of truth for all of your product information. So let's look at the basic functionalities of Plytics. With Plytics, you can easily import your data into your account through our CSV importer, scheduled feeds, our open API, or even manually if you wanna do it ad hoc. Once your data is in Plytics, you'll see a clear and simple overview of all of your products and product information here in the product overview. You can switch between a table view to see lots of information or browse your products quickly in the grid view. The columns in the table view display what we call attributes, which are all the pieces of information about your product. You can create as many attributes as you want and set them up exactly how you'd like. What's great about the product overview is that unlike in traditional spreadsheets, you don't need to worry about messing up a colleague's view or having to duplicate the sheet altogether to work on it how you want. You can customize the table by choosing the attributes you wanna see, filtering through the specific products you want, and even adjusting columns to your liking to make the data more digestible and only view the information you need without getting bogged down with any of the information you don't. And none of it will affect how other users see the data because you can each save your own preferred view. Plytics isn't just a viewing platform or a static repository for your data. Many of our clients say that it's a collaboration tool that allows their team to work together to modify, enrich, and share all of the product data needed to take their products to market. From the table view, you can edit any attribute on the fly, just like editing cells in a spreadsheet. And you can also edit product information in bulk. Just select the SKUs you wanna modify, choose the attribute you need to update, and there you go. If you wanna get a quick glance at the products that need work, you can use a completeness attribute. Completeness attributes are easy to set up and can be configured for any given purpose, like tracking how ready your products are for your website. Here, I set up a completeness attribute with all of the attributes that are required for my Shopify store. If I hover over it, it tells me which attributes are missing to make that product complete. Next, let's create a dynamic product list, what we call smart lists, so that we can easily view and work with the items that we wanna sell in Shopify. We can start by filtering to view all of the products that are ready to go or 100% complete. Okay, I have 11 products that are ready, not bad. Now let's save this filter so that we can use it later when we're ready to cover how to syndicate products to Shopify and other web shops, but that's for future videos. Now, if I change this filter again to show the products that are less than 100% complete, I get all of the products that still need a little bit of work, essentially my to-do list. As I add data to my products, you'll notice that they disappear from the table view, and that's because they're automatically added to the Shopify ready list that we created and saved earlier. Pretty cool, huh? Now let's say you wanna do a deep dive into a specific product. Just click the product SKU and the product details page will open, displaying all of the information or attributes related to that product. You can even choose to see side-by-side -side attribute groups, which is very useful when working on translations or when you wanna be inspired by product images when writing your product descriptions. If you go over to the asset tab, you'll see all of the assets or digital files that are linked to this product. Like in the product overview, you can see it in a table format to get more information on a specific asset or in grid view to quickly find the asset that you're looking for. And with Plytix, there are no limitations when it comes to your assets. So upload as many as you'd like and don't worry about type. You can store your product images, videos, graphics, and instruction manuals right where they belong with your products. Next, let's jump to the variations tab. This helps organizing internally and makes the customer experience on your website easier. Here you can easily link products based on their variations like size or color. So for example, here you can see that this sweater comes in six different sizes. Similar to variations, you can also set up relationships between your products from the relationships tab. Relationships are great to create bundles or upsell. Like in this example, we can see that this sweatshirt is a popular purchase along with this tote bag. With Plytix, you can also quickly and easily syndicate all of your product data to wherever it needs to go. You can create instant product data sheets and even create brand portals to share with your clients. But all of this goes beyond the fundamentals, so we'll cover it in a different video. So there you have it, your introduction to Plytix, the fast and easy way to work on your product data. 
I hope you enjoyed this tour. And I think after viewing this video, you're ready to explore the PIM on your own. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to our team through chat or email. And for more Politics videos, you can check out the playlist that I've linked here. Thank you.